Alright, so this is going to be a quick video on parsing a string to an integer. Parsing in this manner means to split input into data that can be easily manipulated. That makes sense because we can't use a number for calculations if it's in a string. In this example, I use the try parse method um, native to the integer structure. Um, try parse takes a reference to an integer as an argument. If the parse is unsuccessful, then the int value is set to zero. So I took in the string value to be parsed and and then my integer that I created up top for the output. And then down here I just displayed the output to see what it is on the button text property. So let's take a look at the form one and we're going to try it out. I'm going to put in a bunch of letters, press the button, and as you see, we the um, value returns zero because it failed. So it's going to try to parse 45 now, and we're going to press the button, and the value is returned 45. And that's perfect. That's the way we want it to be. So that's um, how to use the try parse method. I hope you learned something. This is Left Technical signing out.